Uh, hello, in uh, this tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, displace uh, some text. So uh, what we're aiming for really is uh, this kind of image here. So you can see it's a combination of a photograph and text. But instead of the text running flat across the face, you can see that it's kind of contoured around it. Okay, so that's just to give you an idea of, um, of what we're aiming for. So let's put that on there. Um, the first thing you need to do is, um, well, if you're using the given image, which is this one of uh, Marilyn, um, you're, uh, we'll be working with an image that's uh, 50, uh, sorry, uh, 1,500 pixels wide and 1,500 pixels um, high. So actually, if I just put it into Photoshop, you'll be able to see that. If you go to image and image size, you'll be able to see up here that the pixels are 1500 by 1500. Okay, so um, if you are going to then do this with one of your own images, um, make sure it's quite a, a large image, okay? Something around there that will be, um, you know, the ideal size. So, um, okay, and I'm just going to put that one down. So the first thing we need to do is to go to um, File and New. And here, wherever it says here, we need to change that to pixels. And then we need to put in uh, exactly the same size, which is uh, 1500 twice. Okay. And um, then we will need to double click in this layer to change it into, to take it away from a background and into a layer. And then you will need to go now, um, on here, this is your paint bucket, but it might look like that. It might look like a gradient tool. So if you can't find the paint bucket, this might be the tool that you see that's fine. Click on the arrow, click on bucket. Okay, and then um, hopefully you have a black square on here. You have to, we want to make the square black. So it might look a bit like this. You might have a white square up here and a black square there. That's fine. Click on your double arrow. Now you might have a color square in here. So that's fine again, whatever it is, double click. And then obviously you can then just choose a black part of the image. Now you should be able to go to your paint bucket tool and fill that in black. Okay. Now what I want you to do now is I want you to hide this layer by clicking um, on the eye. Okay. All right, the next thing you need to do is to go on your type tool and then you need to draw a box all the way around. And then you should have a uh, lorem ipsum file. Um, basically, what that means is it's the it's just um, kind of nonsense text, but that um, graphic designers use just to put in, just to kind of work out where the text is going to go. So it looks like real text, but obviously it um, doesn't read as anything. So you need to. And we need to paste that in. Okay. Now, uh, you might all have different fonts or different um, sizes. So what I'm suggesting uh, that we do is to change it to Arial Bold um, to about 11 points. So we're going to highlight all of the text. Then you can put your, um, you're going to click Command, so find your Command button and click Command and A at the same time, okay? So one finger on Command, the other finger on A and press down. And then 
we just need to go in here and type in Arial and uh, Files. And then we need to go into, uh, what should we do? We'll go into 11 points here. And then we need to change something called leading. So that's 11 points. Well, leading is basically the space uh, in between the text. So um, what you need to do is you need to go to window and you need to find your paragraph. And what you've got is you've got your character and you've got the paragraph. So if we go into character, you'll see already that the text, if we put it up here, it's 11. You can see that it's 11 here. But this is the leading, this is the space in between. So what I want you to do here is to do 11 points as well. Okay. Now, if we go back to uh, paragraph, um, some of you, I mean, this looks like pretty straight down here, and some of you, though, you might see that your uh, the ends of your lines aren't straight all the way down. If it's not, then you just press this one. That justifies. It means this edge is straight and that edge is straight. So I'll just see if I can. Yeah. So. It's not so bad here, but you'll see if yours kind of ends up looking like that with your text a bit like that, just press. Okay. Now, once we get to um, that point, okay, you need to tick to apply the rule. Okay, so it should look like that. Right, what I want you to do now is I want you to go to File and Place. Now yours actually will say, because I'm on a slightly different computer to yours, I'm uh, sorry, I'm on a different computer and also um, I'm not using the right, uh, the same version of Photoshop. So this is a slightly older version. So mine will say place and yours will say place embed, but it'll be roughly in the same uh, spot. So file and go to place embed. And um, what you've got to do now is to find uh, the image that's on your uh, desktop. So you're going to have to actively search for it. So with me, it'll be in uh, the desktop here. Okay. And then that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that Marilyn um, PSD. So I place the embed there on top of the image, okay, and then continue. Now making sure that it's this layer that's um, highlighted, okay, the image one here. I'm then going to go, can you see, you, there's a little arrow here, and with uh, three little, or three or four little lines here. I need to go and click on those little lines. Okay. And then we need to um, click on create clipping mask. So we'll do that next. And that should look like that. And then to bring back the image all together, you will need to bring the eye back. Click back on the eye. And then you can see that's the image um, with the text running through it. But, you know, it's not contouring around the face. It's just um, uh, go, like, sort of running straight through it. Okay. So what we've got to do now, okay, to make the text contour around is we need to click now on the text layer. So that's your image layer. We need to be on the text layer now. So that's the one that should be highlighted. We need to go to layer. And we need to go to smart object and convert to smart object. Okay. And then we need to go to filter and distort and displace. 
Now, 10 will distort it too much. It's You can distort it anywhere, you know, between 1 and 10, but I found that um, 2 is usually, 2 or 3 is usually enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it in on 2. And, okay. and again, you've got to find the same image again, the Marilyn. And I'm going to add in. And can you see that's displaced? So it's contouring kind of around the the nose and around the face. Obviously, the 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 more, the higher the number, the more it will displace. But sometimes if you overdo it, uh, then it'll be so distorted. Um, it, it just becomes a sort of kind of a strange image. Okay, so I always think, start quite low. And, um, and then if you need to do more, then that's fine. And, uh, and that's it. So the last thing you would do is you'd go to um, layer and flatten that. Okay, so it becomes one uh, layer, and uh, maybe image and image size it, and this time, um, put an image there, maybe 10 by 10 or something like that. Okay, so you can see the smaller the image, the more you can then um, kind of see the effect. Okay, um, and that's it, and that's the end of uh, the tutorial.